I've spent months now exploring the habitats of Guatemala. Down at the rough, hot Pacific coast, I enjoyed impenetrable mangrove forests, pelicans surfing the waves, and an astonishing variety of shorebirds. When I made my way up to the volcanic slopes that still hold some bird mysteries to be unraveled, I met friends with people who care a lot about preserving wildlife in one of the few remaining forest patches around. The Viteri Pash family created a private natural reserve on a former coffee finca. Heidi, her daughter Heidi and her sister Grete took me out to their precious birding patch, which they also call their home. Finca La Gracia hosts a wide range of local breeding species, including one in danger of extinction, and serves as a stopover and wintering site for North American breeding birds. We sat down under a gigantic saber tree and I learned about their vision and struggles of protecting a habitat for wildlife in a region under severe ecological pressure. We've been living here for 15 years, almost. And the, the most northern part is now the reserve where the coffee plantation originally was. And the southern part is more like an agriculture where we grow hay for horses and dairy cattle. This patch must be special for all kinds of birds and animals that have to live in forests. It's all surrounded by non-native and big monocultures like sugarcane and pineapple and rubber plantations. So this is kind of an, a used forest rewilding itself. And it's like a secondary, secondary yeah, forest. But you have like some, some giants in here, like the Seba. Yeah. We have recorded to date over 200 species of birds including the long-tailed mannequin that you can hear in the yeah, background. I, I wanted to say something all the time, but... <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> and uh, the parrots that we've been seeing flying all around today. And also, we have started studying the butterflies and moths. Uh -huh. So we participated in a big moth week last year. And we have recorded about 250 species of butterflies. Um, an expert in the area told us that we may find 500 species of butterflies oh, <laughs> uh, here, so we have a long ways to go yeah, and a lot, still to learn, a lot of but work. It's really fun. <laughs> Heidi's birding patch is a haven for wildlife and gives back to the humans who frequent it. She called the reserve the lost Tinamu, referring to a particularly secretive inhabitant of the forest. It's not easy to see or to find in the forest, but in the books, it's kind of the first one you, you find. The noise here helps you a lot to, just to stay here. Mm -hmm. One winged jewel of the place is the yellow-naped parrot, a now critically endangered species with a global population believed to be at around just 2,000 individuals. But I don't find him anymore. Heidi and her family make great efforts monitoring and protecting the parrots on their land, with both success and setbacks. Yellow-naped parrots are still being trapped for the illegal cage bird trade. Violent poachers have also broken into their finca to steal parrot chicks from the nests. Back at the house, Heidi shows me this box that her son Martin has set up. Under the tropical climate, black soldier flies readily lay their eggs in the compost. 
Heidi wants to attract colorful gourmets like the Lesson Smart Mart to the feeder in her garden. They must love the juicy larvae, but will it work? For other species, she places pieces of banana at the feeder, and visitors like the black-headed saltator are quick to devour the fruit. We also don't have to wait long for the predators to accept the food offerings. The great kiskadee goes first, and the yellow-breasted chet and the motmot soon join the feast. Spot-breasted orioles take turns at the banana stick. <laughs> the kiskari ate a bug. <laughs> now it's the immature's turn. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, we take a walk through the farmland to search for nesting yellow-naped parrots. It's the season for pairs to occupy suitable holes in tall trees. But so far, only one nest has ever been recorded on the finca. And this could become number two. We close a great day with a parrot count at their roosting site at Finca La Gracia and enjoy the rare parrot's chorus at dusk before preparing a meal for ourselves. 